Welcome back, D and E family. I'm Darlene. What's going on, you guys? I'm Eugene. And find a good thing. You'll always be my real quick but before we get into that make sure to like comment and subscribe to our channel and if you're new make sure to press that bell and make it ring so that you're the first one to know when we drop a new video so go ahead and do that y'all got five four three two one seconds before we get into the rest of the video so guys today what's gonna happen is all right, this is a story. So, my friend had graduated, right? And all of us, like all of his friends, decided to get a room, like all the girls get a room in um, this hotel in Springfield, which is close to the, the school that he's graduating from. And so, ow. I had brought like different pairs of shoes. So the shoes that I had gone to Springfield with I ended up um, taking them off and then just switching into my other pair of shoes But as we were checking out, I didn't realize that I had left my sneakers there It wasn't until I had gotten home Like two days after is when I realized that I left the sneakers all the way in Springfield and Springfield if you're not familiar with Massachusetts is basically in Western Massachusetts and I live in like the greater Boston area so it's literally like across Massachusetts. It takes like a good two hours depending on um, like the route that you take and the time that you travel to get there. So basically we are on our way to go and get the sneakers. And you're probably wondering like why not just leave them there? Like they're only sneakers. Like you can get sneakers anywhere. But I really, 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 really like those sneakers because they're really comfortable and not only that if you guys watch like a couple of our videos back um we were like sneaker shopping and that's where i got those sneakers and they had bought those for me um so that's another reason why i want them like i just don't want them to just you know like go to waste it would have been different if it was like all the way in a whole different state and you know like i'd have to make someone get the shoes for me and bring them to me or like call like a service or something to deliver the shoes it just would have been way way too much but since like my sneakers are literally in the same state as me why not go and get them if i love them so much so police reported ahead that was a gps it's called ways if you don't have it go and get it do, 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 do. But yeah, so Bay is driving. He's been driving a good like hour and a half. Well, about to be an hour and a half. Uh, hour and 45 minutes, actually. And um, there's not much traffic, so ooh, I look kind of oily. Oh no, oh no, baby. Ooh. But yeah, there's not like too much traffic, so it's not too bad. And. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna go to the hotel. We're gonna meet y'all in Springfield. And then stay tuned to know what else is happening. All right, so I'm about to go in and uh, get the sneakers. They said that they'd be holding it for me at the front desk, so we're about to see. Hi. Um, I have a pair of Nike sneakers that they said that they'll be holding for me. What? No. A pair of sneakers? Yeah. Uh, she can pay the those. Huh? For you? Yeah. Uh, uh, they're gray and blue. They're Nikes. What's the name on them? Uh, probably Charlene. <laughs> yeah, those are it. Oh, really? <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what it's called. I'm like, it's a grayish, bluish. Wow, thank you. Do you guys have a bathroom I could use? Okay, thank you. Right around the corner. Time to try to discover. Oh, there it is. 
found the bathroom. So yeah, guys, I said my sneakers. These are these are the sneakers, by the way. Um, we're in gray and blue, but they're actually periwinkle and blue. Oh. <sighs> Yo, look at what they put my name under. They really said Charlene. I didn't know if I heard her right, so I just told them that my name was Charlene. Cause you know, it was kind of busy when she was talking to me. She really wrote down Charlene. Come on now. Guys, we made it to our next stop. We're here at Golden Corral. Finally, it took us forever to get here, but we're here and y'all know I had to change my outfit because I definitely need sweatpants on to make sure I could eat right. This is going to be my first meal. Yep, I got French toast and it's almost 3 p.m. No shame in my game, trust me. <sighs> that Golden Corral was trash. It was not great. I had three plates, but the plates were like nothing, like absolutely nothing. They were trash. I'd never come back to this Golden Corral. I think if I ever go to Golden Corral, it'll just have to be down south. Like, I cannot go anywhere else because this food is just, it's like mediocre. Like, there's no loving in the meal. You know what I'm saying? There's no loving. So, none of that. Um,. He kind of enjoyed his food, but not really. He didn't have much of an appetite, so he didn't, like, really even eat much. How many plates did he have? Uh, not even a full plate. Not even a full plate. Yeah. Oh, foolish, right? Um, definitely gave me the itis. I'm not just really have an appetite. Yeah, so it wasn't the best. Ugh. But whatever, at least I did it. This this was a great little adventure because I always said that I wanted to come to Golden Corral ever since I went to the one down south. And we were supposed to go like one summer, but that didn't really work out. So he just came up with the idea of us coming here because we're already going to be in Springfield because the hotel where my sneakers were at were in Springfield. So... It was only 18 minutes away, so he was like, why not? We could just go there. And I was like, yeah, good idea. So we came here, but it's trash. So at least I came. The ribs are good, though. The ribs were good. Apparently, the, the ribs were popping. That's probably the only... Oh, no, the cornbread was actually good. The cornbread was good, too. Um, but other than that, mm -mm, guys, do not go. Save your time. Save your money. Save all of that. Don't bother going. Y'all, I just had to tell y'all that I just had to let y'all know how my experience was to save some lives out there because, you know, we got we to gotta stick with one and <laughs> I'm doing the most now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, guys, I'm done. But... Yeah, that's basically the end of our video, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you're new, to go ahead and uh, hit that bell to make sure that you're notified as soon as we drop a new video. But until next time, Zine family, we definitely love you. See you.